What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman, guys. Today, the weather is looking pretty nice. We have a really good overcast right now, which makes me feel like we could have a really good opportunity at having an awesome topwater day. I'm super excited. I got a bunch of stuff tied on. I got a walking bait. We got a buzz bait. We got, we got a bunch of stuff, honestly. And I also tied a big swim bait on, and I'm going to try tossing that around a little bit just to kind of see how that goes. But we're actually going to a pond that I fished a bunch in the wintertime. Caught a bunch of really big fish out of there. A bunch of fives, a few sixes, and some fours and threes. And then I missed like one of the biggest bass that I've ever hooked in my entire life. And some of y'all out there, y'all are sneaky. Y'all are sneaky. I don't really say where I'm fishing because you know, I, try to, I try to keep it somewhat secretive. You know, I'll tell y'all that I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, but you know, I don't need all, you know the million people that live here blowing up every spot that I have. So some of y'all managed to find it, I guess, somehow, and sent me some pictures on Instagram and stuff of some big fish that y'all caught out there throwing the same dang bait I was, a blade bait. So uh, kudos to y'all, good, good for y'all. But hopefully there's some big fish that are willing to bite today. We just gotta get out there, figure them out, see what's happening. But anyways, guys, we have about a 20, 25 minute drive to the pond, so I will catch y'all when we get there. Well, we just made it to the spot, guys gonna go around here and grab my stuff head up to the pond here we go that was the the big swim bait I was talking about right there let's grab that rod can't forget about the buzz bait gotta get the lipless as well just in case the top water is not happening they're definitely gonna hammer that for sure want to grab a spook and finally eh, I'll leave the chatterbait there for now I'm gonna kind of just stick with that lipless I'm, if I'm gonna go to something that isn't top water or that big swim bait but also need some tools and stuff back here so just let me grab those as well stick them in the bag and that should be good I will come back if I need anything else oh almost forgot almost forgot need the scale can't forget that because we're gonna catch a freaking tank today well that should be good let's head on up there hello how's it going hey. that's me <laughs> how's it going brother oh that's awesome man i appreciate it how's it going man good. any luck yeah, man, I, I caught like three over here. Heck yeah, any good ones? Yeah, um, I don't have a, I don't have a weight uh, or a scale. scale, but yeah, man. Heck yeah, that's awesome. But uh, yeah, dude, I'm about to get after it. Feeling like throwing a little bit of top water today. Oh yeah, what you got? Uh, I think I'm gonna start with this uh, buzz bait for now. Buzz bait. I'm gonna throw that buzz bait, and then uh, if that's not happening, I'm probably gonna throw that spook for a little bit. But I just want to cover some water first, see if I can't get it going with this. I've never fished with that before. I got some in the car if you if you want one. Well, oh, actually, I got store, I got some in here if you want one. <laughs> I'll take it. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you can just take these two. Oh wow, man, thank you. So yeah, of much, course, bro. of course. Put them oh, to good wow. use. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Man. <laughs> hey, man, appreciate this too, man. Yeah, for sure, dude. Put them a good use. Oh, <laughs> I will. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Right, well, that was cool. It's always nice to run into some of y'all in person, get a chance to chat. I really do appreciate all the support, guys. It really does mean the world to me. I, I really can't tell y'all enough, but. It is time to get into these fish and hopefully we can find ourselves a nice one. Just gonna work this buzz bait around for a little bit, do some fan casting, see what is happening. If we don't have any bites with this, I'll probably move around a tad bit and try some different things. But I have a good feeling that we might be able to get a fish or two to come up for this or some kind of top water today. With all these clouds out, these fish should be roaming around a good bit. Definitely being a little, definitely should be a little bit more active hopefully you know they're gonna want to come up it's just all you can do is get out of here and start tossing around see what happens no luck right here in this spot i'm actually going to move around to where this big flat is in this pond i definitely think these fish might be a little bit more pushed up this is the deepest section you know it's really not that deep it might be like five or six feet but for some reason, even though there's really not much of a depth change when 
I get conditions like this. These fish like to push up on this bank over here. Uh, it's crazy, you know, just that little bit of depth change can make a big difference to these fish. So let me kind of head over this way and see if that's what they're doing today. See a little bit of commotion up there on the bank. I'm not sure what it is, but hopefully it's a bass. I think it's turtles. Come on, big girl, where are you at? Where are you at? You gonna make me break out the lipless? I will, I will if you need me to. If that's what you're gonna bite, I can break it out. Don't make me do it though. All right, I'm gonna pick the lipless up just for a second, see if I can't get a bite in this area. I just have a feeling they're here. I just don't know if they're gonna wanna bite that buzz bait. There we go. There we go. I was literally just about to make a joke about how I needed some kind of distracting noise for me to catch a fish as soon as that car alarm goes off. was <laughs> right when this fish bit. Because I feel like every time I have something going on in my video, some kind of obnoxious noise starts up in the background. And sure enough, hey, that's what it took this time. First fish of the day. Solid like two and something pounder. Relax, bud, relax. Gonna need the pliers for that. Hold on, bud. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's get that right on out of there for you. There, Jimbo. There she goes. And look at that, guys. First fish of the day. Probably about, a, I'd say like two and a quarter, two and a half maybe. You know what, let's throw on the scale. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, darling. I'm just not being too kind to you, am I? <laughs> she weighs 2.13, almost two and a quarter. Solid start. But yeah, guys, I actually had a pretty good feeling when that bait hit the water right there. I'll kind of tell y'all while I put her back in the water, but as soon as it hit the water, like all these bait fish just kind of scattered and I was really liking the, the look of that. And sure enough, there's a bass hanging out right next to him. Well, let's get this thing back in there. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that super well, but basically like every single time I catch a fish in one of my videos, I swear some kind of annoying noise goes on, whether it's like a leap lower, a lawnmower, some kind of like maintenance noise that just go in full force in the background. I heard that car alarm go off. And that's definitely been like the most obnoxious thing I've heard since I've been out here. I was like, I guarantee you I catch a fish on this cast. That's what I was thinking in my head. And sure enough, that's what happened. That is, that's hilarious. So one of the things that I have found personally when it comes to pond fishing, especially like really pressured ponds like this one, where there really isn't much cover for them to kind of, you know, push themselves up against. It's basically just a big bowl and they just kind of swim around in here like a fish tank. What I have found is that the majority of the fish that I catch are on super far cast. Like as far as I can get it out there where I feel like most anglers are just not casting to and they just kind of hang out in that far distance. And sure enough, that's exactly where that fish came from. So maybe we'll find another one out there. There's one. There. Oh, I got a turtle. I got a turtle. Sorry, bud. Um, come on up here. Let's uh, see if we can help you out here. Got you hooked on the backside. Oh, sorry here, uh, Jimmy. Wrong place at the wrong time, my friend. I got you unhooked though. I will get you back in here safely. Sorry about that. So I have a quick change of plan, guys. I'm actually heading to another pond, and that is because I had to just get up and leave suddenly because I had to go get gas uh, because of this whole pipeline situation and stuff going on in the East Coast. I'm actually heading down to the beach in like two days, so I need to make sure I have enough, uh, enough gas to get back, and I filled up. Uh, some gas cans and all that good stuff, but we're heading to another pond now 
and uh, I'm hoping this is gonna be a bit, little bit better because that last pond just wasn't really happening for me. Um, I fished it maybe like an hour and a half or so, two hours, and only had that one fish and maybe another bite. So we're gonna have to get out here and see how it is going. There's actually two ponds I've fished these before on the channel, so some of y'all might recognize them. But we are about to head down here in a second. Just gotta park the truck and I will meet y'all on the water. We're here, let's grab the rod and see how this goes. Hopefully we have a little bit better luck out here. How's it going guys? Doing good, much luck. For you? You filming? I am. What's your YouTube? Fletcher the Fisherman. We saw, we saw you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what y'all been fishing with today? Uh, I'm good right now. I got you. Have y'all done uh, any much top water fishing or? Uh, we have not. Is that what you're fishing right now? Uh, I have two tied on and then I have like a lipless crankbait. Just gonna try to cover water, see what's happening. Man, you're bombing that thing. Yeah, this thing zooms. What kind of reel is it? Uh, oh, there's one. Uh, hold on. Oh, and it came off, small one. Came up and spit it. Uh, it's a BBB, or uh, sorry, BB1 Pro. It's a lose. Uh, a lose reel, yeah. You can give this a chuck if you want to. This is, this isn't released yet. If you want to give it a shot, no way. yeah, that's insane. Go for it. It usually casts farther. I have like half the spool left, so it's not gonna cast it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, give it a go, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a striking lipless. Yeah, give her a bomb. Smooth. I'm gonna have to go buy a lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. The thing bombs, doesn't it? Yes, it does. What is it? the BB? It's B BB One Pro. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get one of these. Oh, there's one. Oh, little small guy. Come here, bud. Little dinker. All right, we're on the board. Missed the first one in here. The first one was, you know, close to this size, maybe a little bit bigger, but we're, at least we're getting bites. Definitely more activity than the last pond. That's good to see. Just gotta probably wean through a few of these little small guys to find us some quality size ones along the way. Just a little guy. Yeah, I'm sponsored by Twin Troller, Lose, and Striking. And then, uh, oh, is that a fish? Oh, yeah, it is fish. There we go. <laughs> well, they're munching this. That's good. They're just freaking ultra dinks. This little micros. Here she goes. Shoo. Yeah, this is just a buzz frog. Oh, you just tie it right up here. Yeah, you just tie the top of the... Uh... Is this a uni knot? No, it's an improved clinch knot. Can I throw this one more time? Yeah, you gotta go for it. Mess around with it as much as you want. There's a fish. Come on in, bud. Fish number three. All together might equal a pound. <laughs> oh my gosh. We we're getting just destroyed by the dinks today. Land of the Dinks. I know there's a giant in here somewhere. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, nice to meet you, you guys. Thank you. That was it was awesome. good talking to y'all. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Well, I'm just running into all y'all today. <laughs> I appreciate the support, guys. It's been nice talking to, you know, some of the subs in person. But it is time to get back to fishing. Let me uh, try to work my way down here to the small pond. The sun's coming down. I, sat there and, and talked to those guys for a while just chatting trying to meet some of y'all get to know some of y'all and i think uh we have a good shot at maybe catching some fish on some top water now now that the sun's coming down let's see if we can get them on the buzz bait oh fish just moved off that little twig right there wasn't a very big one but it was a fish
There we go. There's a nice one on the bus bait. Let's go. Stay down. Stay down. Don't come up, bud. Don't come up on me. Finally got a decent one out of here. All those freaking dinkers. And here we go. A fish worth something. Not a monster, but something. There she is. Probably about a pound and a half or something like that. You know, not, not tipping the scales, but definitely better than one of those freaking mega dinks. I'm glad to see one eat on top water out here as the sun goes down. Whew. Off she goes. Someone just started a lawnmower. We're about to catch a 10 pounder, guaranteed. I'm telling y'all guys, as soon as the noise starts in the background, oh, dog's barking. Whew. God, we might catch a 15, to be honest. Oh, got bit right there. Got bit right there. Uh, where's the net, Rick? Throw this, that back in there, see if we'll eat that. Where was that? Um, I believe it was like right here. There's a lot of ripples. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> Followed up with the deadly Natalie. Knew you'd go for that. <laughs> that was perfect. Not a big one, but you know, it's fun to get them like that where you get that top water bite they'll probably won't come back for it but if you throw just some kind of soft plastic in there they will just hammer it most of the time and just like that oh sorry <laughs> sorry but yep no comment <laughs> even though i just got two bites on that buzz bait i am going to mix it up on them just for a second because i threw that buzz bait around in this corner a good bit See if they want something else. Gotta throw the spook in there, see if that doesn't get them excited. There we go. We got one. Not a very big one, but it's a fish. All on top water. Come on in, bud. Aggressive little dude. These little fish in this pond are hyper aggressive. I've been out here a few times and I've definitely have caught some small ones, but nothing like this, dude. It's just been crazy. I don't even know if I'm going to put all the ones I've caught in the, uh, in the video. I mean, I probably have caught you know, 10 of these little dinkers, these little like half pound to quarter pound micros. There we go, <laughs> I slowed it down, came up and clobbered it. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a decent one. Oh, just another squeaker. Well, I guess you can't catch the bigs every day, unfortunately. Big mama might be out there still. We're gonna keep on trucking, see if we can't find her. Well, that about does it for today's video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And as always guys, fasten this passion. Peace out.